also known as Uncle Joel to many of you. And as you might be aware, I recently moved from California to England to be with my beautiful wife. This has led to many questions. How am I enjoying England? What do I think of the United Kingdom? How am I adapting? So, with that in mind, I decided to make this video in hopes of answering some of those questions. So here it is. Uncle Joel's review of the United Kingdom. To start with, the plot isn't what I expected. See, the plot back in the United States is a lot of political turmoil and strife, with infighting, leaders everyone mocks, promised changes with no follow-through, and a lot of downright comical circumstances. And I thought I was escaping all of that. Unfortunately, here is just more of the same. All of the contrivances make for compelling storytelling, but I was hoping for more intrigue and less satire. Visually, it's an interesting mix. They went for some incredible designs, but chose a far more muted palette than the States, which I thought was a very interesting decision. Granted, when you get to Northern Ireland, you get some vibrant greens thrown in, but overall the colors are far more muted and less eye-catching. This creates a very unique style, separating it from other, more colorful locations like those with which I'm familiar, so if for no other reason, I can understand why they might lean towards a more noir feel with the color scheme. The acoustics are interesting, though, but I feel they need a little more fine-tuning. It's like everything is in English, but just a little bit off. Something that is disrupting the language filters, suggesting that a biscuit is actually a cookie and that gorgeous is a way to describe the flavor of delicious food. <laughs> Perhaps a little more tweaking should have gone into the sound production, because it is almost right, but when they go so far as to even change the pronunciation of words, you can tell they cut corners in order to get the product to market. Character development is a strong suit, especially in regards to diversity of personalities and presentation. Everyone is friendly and interesting, making for a comforting experience. They're is the occasional issue of a sense of superiority to their American brethren, but this is an issue that goes both ways, so it's probably a bug that neither has managed to work out yet. There are small details, like roundabouts, well, at least for the most part, that add a unique, positive spin, but overall, the experience doesn't really feel significantly different from back home. In fact, they could simply be another state, less different from what I know and am used to than other more southern states. The only significant knock against the UK would be would have to be the lack of proper Mexican food. They have some stuff in their markets like tortillas, taco seasoning, salsa, but these are basic stuff. It's like a store that sells crayons saying they carry art supplies. It's far better than nothing, but in this singular, very significant regard, the UK pales in comparison to California. Overall, I give the UK a 7 out of 10. It's pretty good. Not perfect, but then again, what is? California didn't even rank that high. Although, now that I'm thinking about it, I might need to give California a proper review as well. Sometime, perhaps. Maybe after my next sampling of the American West Coast. So, there you have it. That should answer all of your questions about my experience with the United Kingdom so, uh, so far. And until next time, I'm Uncle Joel saying, stay tangible.